Hey guys, how's it going? It's Ryan here with U-Haul. We're gonna go ahead and put a hitch on your Ford Escape. It's gonna take you to some really fun places, be it bike riding, camping, or even taking a U-Haul trailer. Let's go ahead and break this hitch down. All right guys, to install this hitch, we're gonna go ahead and lower the exhaust. There's attachment points, one on each side, one on the driver's side, one on the passenger side, and one towards the front of the car. We're gonna go ahead and lower this down now. All right guys, to pull these out, we're gonna use a 13 millimeter socket here and here. And same thing on the passenger side. Alright guys, we're going to follow the exhaust down one to one more exhaust bracket hanger here. We're going to go ahead and spray it with some soapy water and then use the exhaust pliers to go ahead and pull it down. Alright guys, so we're back here on the driver's side. We're going to pull down this nut with a 10 millimeter socket so we can go ahead and bend this heat shield back so we can trim off the section here to here. and do almost the exact same thing on the passenger side. All right, up over here on the driver's side, we're gonna go ahead and try and get our hardware through. Now you'll see that the spacer block fits through just fine, but when we try and get the bolt up, it gets stuck. So we're gonna go ahead and expand that just a little bit with an air saw. Right now we're going to check and see if it fits, and it does. So we're going to go ahead and go on and do the exact same thing on the passenger side. There's going to be three attachment points on each side. We're here on the driver's side. So there's one here on the bottom of the frame rail, another one, and then there's going to be one up on the side of the frame rail towards the rear of the vehicle. Alright, we're going to take the provided fish wire, and we're going to come through the attachment point here back down through this access hole. All right, we're gonna go ahead and attach our bolt to our fish wire. Get our spacer block through. Get the bolt in. We're gonna pull it through. Make sure it goes all the way through. And once it does, we're gonna push it back in because our hitch is gonna come up over this point. Next, we're gonna take the fish wire and we're gonna come back through the attachment point, through the access hole, feed on both our spacer block and our bolt again. Spacer block, bolt, pull through. Next, we'll take the provided fish wire and reverse fish wire up through this access hole. So first, we're gonna put the block and bolt on the fish wire. Feed the bolt up through. And then the spacer block. And pull back through. All right, we're gonna leave these fish wires attached here, here, and here, so we don't lose our bolts up in the frame when we go ahead and attach our hitch. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the passenger side here. Now that we've got all of our hardware in place, we're gonna go ahead and raise the hitch into position. We're gonna go ahead and put the hitch in place using a U-Haul exclusive hitch jack. If you don't have one, go ahead and get an extra set of hands because this hitch is a little heavy and awkward. We're gonna go ahead and fish wire our bolts one through here, one through here in the first hole towards the rear of the vehicle, one in the third hole, and then the second and fourth holes are gonna be used to reattach your exhaust bracket. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get this in place now. All right, as you can see, we're back here on our driver's side and we went ahead and we pulled our fish wire through our attachment points. And now we're gonna remove them and attach our flange nuts. Now 
Now we're gonna do the same thing on the passenger side here. We're gonna go ahead and use a 17 millimeter socket and our extension with our torque wrench and we're gonna torque the carriage bolts that we just fish wired through down to specification. We're gonna go ahead and remove the extension so we can get into that side bolt. And we're gonna repeat the process on the passenger side. Now that we've got all of our carriage bolts torqued to specification, or it's time to raise up our exhaust. First, we're gonna spray some soapy water on the exhaust hanger and the exhaust bracket. Back here on the driver's side, we're gonna go ahead and put these exhaust brackets back up. You take your new hardware and you're gonna thread it through. And then get the second one. And do the exact same thing. And then we'll do the same thing on the passenger side. Next we're gonna use our torque wrench, our extension, and a 13 millimeter socket to go ahead and torque those bolts down to specification. Now that we finished the install and brought the car into level ground, we're gonna give you all a couple measurements so you can go ahead and select a bike rack or a ball mount. From the ground, to the top of the receiver opening is 14 inches. And from the hitch pin hole till the outer edge of the bumper is gonna be four and a half inches. All right guys, that's gonna do it for our install on our Ford Escape. We hope you have fun towing anything that you choose, be it a bike rack or a trailer. Have fun and be safe.